Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're playing some Jeskai tokens. So we'll be using a bit of blue mana, some red mana, and some white mana. Um, and this deck, we are going to find out if playing Jeskai tokens is worth it over playing Boros tokens. So Boros tokens being the big new deck right now. Uh, it's extremely fast. This deck is not as fast as that deck. There's no one drops in it. Uh, and that deck I think plays like 12 or something one drops in it but this deck is sacrificing a bit of the speed for a bit of the mid to late game power it's also obviously a little bit more uh, mana hungry of a deck so with the three colors but the difference with this deck is that we are playing uh, a couple things one i think that the regal bunny corn invasion of segovia combo is is underplayed i think it's way more powerful than people maybe realize being able to go turn two bunny corn into turn three invasion on the play especially and that makes the bunny corn into a 4-4, which you can then uh, attack and flip this, getting the 3-3, and then have all your creatures untapping and being used for mana to play other spells is really, really good. Also, we're playing uh, third path Iconoclast. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I get a 1-1, and most of the other cards in this deck are spells. Uh, we also get uh, Counterspell, which is nice. That's uh, No More Lies, the newest Counterspell from the newest set. Uh, Lightning Helix, of course. Also, Invasion of New Phyrexia. Again, more mid to late game than the Boros deck, but sometimes in the late game, we can drop this for a ton. Then we were playing Sang Sanguine Evangelist. Um, I'm a big fan of this card. The fact that it gives flyers is a big deal, especially when we're playing two different battles that we want to be flipping. Having that evasion is really nice. Um, it, I chose this over Wedding Announcement. I, I played a bit of both, and I found that this was better, and having the flyer was just super relevant. And also having the um, the battle cry in this deck is really nice. Get lost for removal, obviously. Virtue of loyalty, obviously, in a, in a token deck is very good. And then a the, the land base, I've played with it a little bit, and it seems pretty good. I'm I'm pretty reliably able to get all my colors for the most part. And then War Leader's Call, uh, very good in a token deck as well. And I think that's pretty much it for the main deck. For the sideboard, we have and the festivities to go against other token decks. It's also very good against the toxic decks as well. Um, invasions of Gabagon against control decks. Play with Fire I brought in because I, I was finding that I was having a hard time against the, the two mana bat that takes a card from your hand and not having efficient removal to kill it. So I have a couple of those in there. Um, Disdainful Stroke, again, the counter spells are one of the things I like about this deck over the Boros deck is that it gives you better game against some of the ramp decks and, and like Atraxa decks and stuff like that. You can have the uh, counter spells and oftentimes the counter spells are making you tokens off of like the Iconoclast and stuff like that. So, and then Lauren of the Third Path, the Artifact and Enchantment removal pretty obvious so uh hopefully the deck makes sense but let's jump into some games and see if it actually works out javelina um need red mana but we will keep and we will start with a blue white land so the plan is turn two bunny corn there's a red source which is awesome so we'll get our bunny corn down opponent maybe playing like a blue white Control. Um, let's go for the War Leader's Call. I could attack first and try to play around stuff, but... Yep. Does he have another Counterspell? Um, I think I'll do this again. Let's... Let's try it this way this time. Let's see if this makes a difference. I, I know they're going to just take it and then counter it, but maybe we could trick them. Oh, never mind. It would have been good. Um, so the issue is, is are we looking at a future sunfall? So I'm going to wait. Because I want an invasion post sunfall. Ugh, Wandering Emperor. Yeah. Probably just exiles my bunny corn. Let's kill this now. Opponent reads my man land. Passes. They have a mainland as well. 
Invasion. Let's play that. So that resolves. Burns them for two. And then let's uh, attack with our land here. Possibly another Wandering Emperor coming down. Uh, let's go face. I don't think that's going to happen. Bunny corn. I don't think bunny corn's good enough right now against a blue white control deck with. So that hits, which is really nice. Are they going to farewell me? Temporary lockdown, yep. Okay. Oh, man, counterspell. Um, I think we have to go for this though. One, two, three, four. Do they have the counter again? They do. Okay. Mirex. Land. All right, let's spire attack. We have first strike, which is nice. So they can't block it with their uh, with their flying land without losing it. No land. So they flash in that. Are they gonna double block? That's an interesting play. Interesting play. Yeah, hit me for one. There's a bunny corn. Let's uh, spire again. So get lost. Unfortunately. Um, okay. So a bunny corn. Oh yeah, we don't get the trigger from that anymore. Um, I would map here, but I think we need to keep the counter spell mana available. I don't know what we're, what we're gonna counter for this much mana, but. Temporary lockdown, doesn't that get Oh no, it's a okay. So they eat their own guy as well. Interesting. Iconoclast burns them. Pretty good. The counterspell will make a token and burn them again, which is nice. I think even if I even if the counterspell doesn't doesn't work here, I think I still do it. Okay, invasion. Make a token. Hey, burn, burn. Attack. I think I, I, I just got to go for the kill here. I don't think I can... Uh, top five cards your library. Separate them into two piles. I think I still counter that. Because I can... The issue is, is that if they have like a sunfall now or a farewell... I don't have anything to beat that, but farewell would really suck because oh, temporary lockdown again. Three of them. Brutal. Counterspell does nothing right now. Yeah, the three temporary lockdowns hurts. Um... Okay, let's hold off on this. Memory Deluge. Uh, so let's just counter it, I guess. Okay. Attempt this. That thing again. 
So top five cards in your library and it's everything into two piles. My opponent chooses one of those piles. Hang on, I gotta read that again. Chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand and the other pile into your graveyard. Create a zero zero cost after artifact creature flying. Then put a one one counter on it for each card put into your graveyard. Okay. Um, so I think I put that into the graveyard and this into their hand. I don't really want to put a memory delusion in the graveyard necessarily. So that burns there. Yep. So does he chump lock this? I think he would probably have to, right? So I guess technically, th <laughs> would he not have gotten that? Oh no, he still would have gotten the Thopter, right? It just it would have been, it would have been, okay. He still would have had the Chump Locker regardless of how I chose that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I can't play this. I need to have this available here. So let's wait and see what he does here. There's seven mana, so you can. So Sunfall gets a 1-1. One, one. Flash this in. Burns for one. Okay, let's go combat. He will probably animate the 1-1 one, one and block. Mm-hmm. And then I think I just play this and burn him for another one. He needs to have another Sunfall here, which he probably has, but. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the War Leader's Call is so good against control. Okay, he's digging for something. He's looking for uh He needs like a... Another temporary lockdown, probably, his fourth one. Or if he has a four mana board wipe. Land. Um, let's go combat. So march. Do you have another one? The whale. I um, think I leave it on top, right? Like, I just want to... Any creature I can get. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's at one, right? We may as well play this out. Uh, next turn, we play this, and if he can't... When a creature enters the battlefield. So he needs to have a way to deal with this creature entering the battlefield. I think we just run it out. So counter unless I pay four, which I do. Does he counter again? Does he, does he have to bring this? He might. Is he going to bring his uh, Thrall back into play? Kills my land. Okay. Sure. Yeah, counters it. Yeah. Okay. We need to rip a land. Uh, any creature here. Oh, God. Um... I mean, I guess I play. I don't. I don't. I can't think of a reason not to. I'll keep the land in my hand just to spook him. Oh God, he's gonna search out more counter spells. One, two, three, four, five. So he can't flash in the whale. Yeah, he probably just keeps finding counter spells, right? He can dig so far now. Mm-hmm. Right, I guess I just go for it, right? Um, is he 
gonna exile his own token. He is. It's a good sign though that he doesn't have a counter spell currently in his hand. So there's the whale. Which I will block with the uh, Evangelist to get another flyer in play if he attacks with it. So put a counter on the whale. Block. Memory Deluge. He's probably trying to find the Thrall again to stop the War Leader call from triggering. Maybe. Okay, wow. Um, okay, so uh, we want the Lorens in, obviously. The Disdainful Strokes and the Gavacons. And then probably less removal. Um, like the Helixes, I don't think are as important here. The Get Loss, I think are actually pretty good here because it kills the enchantments and they can't take as good advantage of the, the maps. I just wonder if the Gobbuk 4 is too much of these. The Warleader's Calls are good, obviously. The Invasions, I think, are probably good. Let's go minus two of these. And is that... Let's go minus one of these counter spells. I think the Strokes are better here. Be... Mm, I don't know. The problem is when they can pay the three mana, it's... Let's try it out and see. Okay, opponent did not want to face Jeskai tokens for a second time, so victory. Okay, Jeskai tokens against Beans with the Golem avatar. And we will be on the play. And we will mulligan the one lander. We will also mulligan the two lander. We will keep this even though it's not very good. Um, I think we'll get rid of this. And this, and we're probably uh, in some trouble here, but let's let's play it out and see what happens. Okay, uh, let's go like that. Hold up the no more lies, and then turn three and four will probably end up invasioning here. I think there's gonna be a bat coming down. Nothing. Um. Let's go tap land and still hold up the counter mana and go for a bigger invasion. Opponent plays staff. Do I care about that? Probably. Let's counter that while we can. And then let's go for a double invasion. Please don't play a Shieldred here. I'm just not uh, in the mood to face Shieldred right now. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, let's go land. I'm tempted to just get the pump going here. Because then he can't attack with the Shieldred. Against, I mean, he could if he has removal in his hand. And then play a... I'm going to do it. Uh, or am I actually? Hang on. Yeah, I am. I'm going to do it, no attacks, pump the team, and then next turn I'm going to play this and have a really big team. So we kill that. Did they kill the other one too? So I'm actually okay with, yeah, they, I'm actually okay with drawing a land here, just, and they discard a card to kill that. No attacks? Okay, so land, uh, I think I will make three of these. And pump them up. So we need a good draw here. Ashiok, wow. No attacks, okay. Um. 
That's okay. Uh, let's go like this. So the question is, do I... I'm gonna... See, Ashiok's a problem here. Um, If I go for this, he will... I'm going to try to get a uh, Planeswalker here. He's going to chump, chump, and chump, right? Let me untap all of our stuff. So we can just draw anything here. Another Planeswalker. Give me, like, a Lightning Helix. Give me... Oh. <laughs> okay, um... So here's my thought. Let's make the Flyer. Let's kill the Flying Blocker. Oh, yeah. That sucks really badly. <laughs> Ugh, that's so bad. I totally forgot that was a thing. Yep, yep. Uh, Alright, let's map onto here. Counterspell? I don't think I want that. I mean, I know he'll just chump block this. If he wants to trade his shield right, he can. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I totally forgot about the Field of Ruins. I don't know if it really changes my play much. I think I was pretty much doing that anyways, but... So, it draws a card. Kills that. It takes them all from our deck. The good thing is he can't really attack with the Shieldred right now, which is nice, but... Yeah, drawing a bunch of cards. Oh, God. More Planeswalkers. Anything but land. Anything but land. Land. Alright, um... So, main land... Go to combat. So I can potentially kill both planeswalkers, right? I really want to flip these, but I, I think that's probably not going to happen anymore. So let's go like this. Put the counter on here. Uh-huh. We got our last mountain. I hope they don't do this anymore. We're out of basics now. No blocks? Okay. I question some of the things they've done. Like, they're winning. They're, they're beating me here. But I question a few of the things they've done this game. So probably play of Raska. Kill my th thing. No attacks. So they can field again here, right? Or they, they don't have the mana for it yet. Draw. Oh, come on. We're so close to, like, coming back from this. We just need to not draw land after land after land. Um. So, we'll animate. Have 
how did he do that? Isn't it two? He has to pay two mana and sack it, right? Oh, add two mana to the chosen color. Oh, of land sources. Okay. Maybe I should read the cards. Just a literal destroy target land. Um. So I still attack here. He just chump blocks it, I'm guessing, and then. We will play the land in case they play like a. So my creatures are now bigger than his uh, children, which is nice. Yep. So if we can draw out like the blue white invasion, then we're in really good shape. Yeah, he just has it all. Just has it all. Yeah, we need like a really good draw here. That's a terrible draw. Uh, okay, that's game. So, mono black planeswalkers. Let's go. These are probably pretty pretty good. The disdainful strokes are probably decent as well. We're on the play. Helixes are good. Let's just go two Gabacons for now. Like the Disdainful Strokes counter all their Planeswalkers. I feel like I probably... The Disdainful Strokes might be better than the uh, the blue-white counterspell here. But we're going to try and kill them fast here. Uh, I'm going to keep. I have nothing... No creatures to attack with, but... We're going to turn to Gavacon. Unless they duress us, and then we're not. Dreams of Steel and Oil. Artifact or Creature card. Okay, sweet. They get nothing from that. Uh, let's go land... Let's Gobacon here. Uh, let's take the Trespasser. Um, this is four to do, right? So let's go tap land and keep the counter mana open. They do nothing. Okay, stop drawing land. Um, So do I play this and attack? Do I animate my... This thing can kill entire creature planes over main of So that can just kill anything it wants. Let's wait and see if uh, we need to counter like a four-mana planeswalker here or something like that. And if we don't, then we'll flash in the tokens. End of turn. Yeah, so kill my... Kill my man land. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Like they know we're blast zone. Uh, all right. If they're doing nothing, then we'll we'll flash in our one ones. Okay. I mean, we're just kind of getting screwed here a little bit. Uh, let's... I just realized I don't have... That's really bad. No, I don't have my counterspell mana available. I played that absolutely incorrectly, but that's okay. It's actually not okay, but <laughs> it's what we did. Um... Stop with the lands. Stop with the lands. So if they play a big planeswalker here, then I'm really upset. I'm very upset. Why would they not make the one ones? That's so bad. Alright, land. Uh, attack one to here, attack one to here. P 
play that. Yep. Now they make the one ones, now that I have two twos. Very interesting play. Counter that. No land. Just give me any creatures. Any relevant spell. Oh, those get bigger, don't they? Land. That's pretty good. Uh, let's play that. Let's go land. Attack, attack. No blocks. I don't know. If this guy's got plans that I don't understand. Does he have like a minus X spell? Let's get another Ashiok. Okay, well that's fair. That's fair. Draws a card. Yep. Yep. More land. Uh, okay, let's go flyer. And I think I just attack everything there, because if they block here and here... That would still kill it. So let's go everything here. No blocks. Our entire team gets pumped. May as well map here. Let's put it on the land. Because I'm, I'm scared they're going to board wipe. So I'd rather have the bigger land here. Okay. Pump the team. Another Ashiok. Wow. So this can bounce an artifact, creature, enchantment, or planeswalker. Draws more cards. Okay. Land. Yep. Bunny corn. Okay, so let's go... Let's make this. Let's go here, here, face, 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 battle cry. Just let's all go. No blocks. Um, so I kind of want to play the bunny corn here. I'm just afraid of the minus, like one of the minus X spells. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Um, let's put a map on this guy, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Pump our team. Baraska. Proliferate and lose a life. Like my mainland. Yeah. Okay. Some questionable plays there. I don't. I don't know. If they had something they were trying to do, but so now that we're on the draw, I wonder if the disdainful strokes are are better now. Let's bring in those. These things I think are maybe too slow. Let's go minus one invasion. Let's give that a shot. Game three against beans. Holy cow. Um, I'm almost tempted to keep it and hope I draw into stuff. I just don't want to mulligan this and then get like a one lander and then I'm 
pretty much out of the game. And I do have man lands and a counter spell. Let's mulligan. Oh, it's exactly what I said was going to happen. All right, we're trying this, I guess. We need blue source. So keep, put away the blue spell, obviously. And I think we put away the bunny corn for now. And just go for a turn two virtue, turn three war leaders call. They take nothing. I like that. <clears throat> okay, we might have a chance here. All right, let's just, I guess, wait on that. Land. And to turn, flash that in. I think it's going to die right away, but that's okay. It doesn't. There's a blue source. Um, let's go with the war leader's call. Opponent kills our token. Luckily, next turn we can uh, play the two one ones, which is pretty good. There'll be two twos with haste. Bunny corn is nice. Um, so do I play the bunny corn and then hold back this for a planeswalker, or do I get in for four? I'm gonna do this and see if I can get them to like commit a removal spell to one of the tokens, and see if the bunny to, to not be able to kill the bunny corn afterwards. Probably gonna kill my main land here. Blast zone up to three, yeah. So they're gonna blast zone my uh, war leader's call, I guess. Wow, they activate it, yeah. Okay. Pretty good. I mean, it's actually a pretty bad turn, really, but take my bunny corn. Um, so I could play this, but I can't, they're gonna kill this land soon. I kind of want to get the get the value out of it now before they kill it, and then we'll put the counter on here. Virtue, yep. Gain some life back. Uh, main lands are good right now, so they can do this, right? Yes, I learned my mistake from last time. They have the two mana. Um, in that case, let's just play the War Leader's Call and get the extra damage in. It's two main lands. I gotta choose the better one. Do they have a really a removal spell? They do. Okay, I mean, they're in top deck mode though, with only four, four lands, so. So we'll go land. Um, so I think I wanna. This one's better here, right? So I think I wanna. Activate this one so they'll kill this one. And attack. We get to scry. They're not going to kill it until... No counter spells right now. Although a counter spell is not that bad, really. It's anything they draw, we can counter. But I think I want to go for the kill, right? So yes, they kill that. Uh, take our planes... And we'll pass. If they play a Planeswalker, we can get lost it. They do not. Counter spells actually may be good here. So let's go land. Yeah, I'll counter that. Wait, oh god. <laughs> It auto-tapped. That's so bad. And then there's the field. Um, so this thing's dying for sure. So let's just play the War Leader's Call. And let them kill the main lane end of turn. Unless they don't want to, but... Yep. Yep. So we need creatures really badly. That auto tap was really. Uh, <laughs> I should have known better though. The pain lands they always do that. So four, five, six. They're almost at their. Uh... What can they even take? 
nothing. So the virtue does nothing right now, anyways. Um, another man land. Play this out. If we ever draw a creature, <laughs> we're in really good shape. We just need any, even any token will be huge. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can get them to um, react to the mainland first before I play the bunny corn. If they're playing some kind of spot removal. Yep. So now we get the uh, double burn from the bunny corn. And hopefully they don't have another removal spell. Wow, yep. Oh, no. So now they convert you. So at any point in time, I can destroy target creature enchantment or planeswalk. I can destroy my... Oh, I'm killing that. I, was say, I can kill one of my own enchantments to get the maps, but... Um, yeah, let's kill this right away. I should have added turn to that, because now they can map their token, which is stupid of me, but... Okay, any tokens. There's more removal coming, too. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. We're playing a token deck. Any tokens. Just anything. Wow. Atrocious. Yep. Okay, that's good. I don't know why they wouldn't play anything there, but... So this is really good here, because they... So we'll play the land. They can't really kill this right now, because it'll kill them. Okay. So this thing's a problem for them. They have to have, like, exile it or, or something. Oh my god, that's so scary. Yep. Must draw tokens. Oh my goodness, why? So we can't attack here, because they'll just chump block and kill us. We have to hold this back now. Which is so bad. Okay, so we'll counter that. The question is, do they attack here? Okay. So we flash that in. Yes, yes. We go to combat because they can't... They have to chump lock it, right? They can't... Okay. Virtue. Do I take damage from this? I do. I'm not doing it then. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Mana two or less. Okay, so that kills both our tokens. But then he can't attack. Or no, he can. I mean, I guess I may as well do this. I don't think there's any difference. So this comes down. We win, don't we? Or no, we have to block this. Right, we have to block this. Why would you not? He wasn't dead yet. Because he would have attacked there. I would have had to have blocked it. 
And he could have still won that game. Okay. Kuna. Jeskai tokens. <clears throat> we will play first. Uh, slow, but very slow, actually. All tap lands and uh, three drops, but we'll give it a shot here. Okay, land. Uh, nothing to do on two, no two drops, so we'll just do another land tapped. <clears throat> I'm playing red white. Uh, let's play this land and let's go with the. Let's go with the invasion. See if we can't possibly. Uh, there's a virtue. Next turn we can war leaders call and possibly uh, flip that, maybe. They have their own war leaders call. They attack. So that's unfortunate. Um, so we have to play a three drop here. Let's go like that. Let's get out one of these. Get the flyers going. No attacks. We're going to try to go wider than them. If possible. Opponent attacks, I think... Tempted to block and get my flyer out of this. Like, I can... Nah, it's too much to lose. I'd have to lose three guys, and then if he has a removal spell, we could get blown out huge, so... Let's wait. Okay, another one of those. Let's put out our call. And let's... attempt to flip this... Couple of blockers, yeah. Pretty good. They have to block everything, though, if they want to... They have to block everything if they want to not have this flip. So we get to trade everything and we get a flyer back, so... Not a bad way to... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Good, good, good. We get our 1-1, one, one, which is a 2-2. Two, two. Wait, this, this flips? Did I deal 4 to it? I thought I dealt 3 to that. What happened? I, I don't know what happened, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'll have to rewatch this and see why that happened. But uh, let's go call. Yep. Untap our guys. Yep. And this is pretty good. Do they have board wipes? Yeah. Okay. Let's bring in two and the festivities. I don't know how good they're going to be necessarily if they're playing. I don't know. Let's try it and see. I might end up, I might end up boarding that back out. But um, So they're going to be fast against us. We don't want to be too slow. So we'll board those out. Let's do that for now. Let's see what happens. Okay. Next game, Kunu, opponent, choosing. Did my opponent leave again? Because if so, that's the second time that I've beaten somebody game one and they've just logged out and, <laughs> and left. So um, I don't know if Jeskai Tokens is that frustrating to play against, but... Okay, I guess... Uh... They did not want to play against Jeskai Tokens again. Okay, guys. Uh, Jeskai Tokens against Luci Lucianos, Luci Lucianos DC. We will play first, and we will keep this hand. <clears throat> so, we'll tap land. Opponent is playing... Green white. Green white enchantments. Okay. Um, so we have options here. We can do this and then start getting the tokens off of it. But I think any time that I can get turn two bunnycorn into turn three invasion here, I 
like to try to go for it. Companion, yep. So they will be able to chump block it, unfortunately, but that's okay. So take two. That's nice. Uh, so let's go invasion. Get our guys, and we will attack, and he has to chump block that, I think, for sure. Okay. There's the naturalist. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Ugh, death touch. Yep. It's kind of rough, but... Uh, Alright, so let's go land. And how do we play this? I think we just play the War Leader's Call. Uh, I don't know, actually. Maybe we don't. Maybe we go wider now, because like we're not going to be able to get through this without like losing a lot. So I might just play the Iconoclast first, and then play the... So if I attack with this, he's just going to block and kill it. Is that something that I want? Probably not. I honestly might end up bouncing that with the uh, with this. So another companion. Another death toucher. Wow. Yep. I might end up just bouncing, uh, oh, gross. I might end up just bouncing something like this just to reset the counters on it, but this is going to be big, isn't it? 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, all right, let's, let's chump block, unfortunately. Um, okay, let's go War Leader's Call. I don't know that it's worth it to play either of these lands right now. I think I'm better off just having them for the future ability. Um, no attacks yet. Yeah, it's going to be tough to climb back from now. <laughs> Another naturalist. Them not having trample yet is nice. Audacity would probably uh, be really bad right now, but until then, let's just chump block. Don't know that the counter spell is going to be super relevant here. Um, so I think I do need to play the so I want blue, white. Yeah, I'm going to play this now. So I can have the counter mana available. Can't really attack yet. I don't know how I'm going to get through these 1-1s. One -ones. Ugh, can't counter that, unfortunately. So you have another spell that I can counter. Okay, block. So how do I get through this? That is the question. That's pretty good. Let's throw that down. Because it's so much life now. <laughs> so having flyers is good. Uh... Can't attack because of the death touchers, unfortunately. Yeah, sends for thirteen. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block here because I'll get another flyer out of it, and then I can flip the uh, invasion, which isn't that crazy right now, I guess, but. 
Okay. If we can get enough flyers here, we might have a chance to... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's flip this. Okay, we'll play that. It triggers that again. Um, and then we just untap our creatures and hold back here. I might just end up countering something that doesn't matter just to get the trigger from the token. <laughs> Uh, yikes. Okay. We won't yet. Does he have any good attacks here, really? Like, the bunny corn's really saving us here. Lightning helix. Um, so I think we go with the flyers. For sure. I'll probably send this too to get the battle cry, and if they block it, I get the next flyer as well. So let's do that. Okay, so we get that. Trigger, trigger. So I can lightning helix this and kill it. I can also get that gone as well. What's better? This can copy and activate a triggered ability from an enchantment you control. Like, right now, that's not really happening. He might draw something, but as of right now, I'm not that afraid of that. I almost want to kill this. Let's let's hold off and see. Let's wait and see what happens here. So, we'll untap our flyers. Ugh. Okay, let's... Do I bounce that back? Let's wait and see. Um, enter the battlefield. Uh-huh. Let's wait for combat. So let's bounce this back now. So he doesn't gain the life. And let's kill... Let's kill this now as well. Actually, that was bad. I should have killed this. Um, so this can kill that. And do I just take the 8? Kind of tempted to just take the 8. See, I should have done that because now I, I could have countered this guy coming down, but now I can't because... Or can I? Is this not reduced by 1? Or no, because it's not... It's, it's green and white. Uh, all right, let's counter... Auto pay, get our 1 1 from the uh, Iconoclast. Triggers those. Okay, we're still in it. I thought we were. Uh, sure, just play a creature because the more the better. Go to combat. Send the flyers. And then untap the flyers. Wow. I thought we were losing that one for sure. Um, okay, so uh, Lauren, of course, has to come in. Um, I think I bring in End the Festivities because those, uh, those things were annoying. The 1-1 one, one Death Touchers. I'm going to bring those in. And I think the Play With Fires too. Um... I think the counter spells are probably maybe less good. So let's yeah, let's minus the counter spells. When they're reducing the cost of their stuff, it makes that a lot worse, I feel. Um, let's go minus Like let's go minus these only because 
I think like when we're on the on the draw, their deck can be so explosive. We need to have lots of early game stuff, and I don't think those are going to be. We won't survive long enough for that to be that good. So, um, one more card. Let's just do a. Uh, let's do minus one of these invasions again. They're they're kind of slower when you're on the uh, on the draw, like when they're playing, you know, three threes and four fours early, and then on turn three I'm playing one ones. I end up just chump blocking with them. So, we will see though. Uh, need red mana, but I think. It's good enough to keep on the draw. Yep. So they're probably going to do their usual. Yep. Same as always. There's a red source. Um, let's. So I can play this and try to go wide with these. I kind of want to see if he'll attack into a virtue token, though. Or do I? Nah, let's try and start getting value out of this. I think we pretty clearly saw last game that having lots of, like, chump lockers in 1 1s is good against them, because they're going to try to pump up one creature into, like, an 8 8 or whatever. So having a bunch of 1 1s is is pretty good. So we're taking some damage here for sure. Yeah, they're just going all out here. Let's take that. Uh, okay, well, we can only play one spell here, so we may as well play our tap land. And let's wait and flash in a virtue token. Yep. Probably way too late, but let's see here. Ossification. Um, that's too bad. So let that resolve. And then flash in the 2 2. Get the 1 1. Okay, I kind of want to kill the Death Toucher, but I think killing the the Lord is maybe more important. Down to three. So even if I flash in, if I play the Bunny Corn and flash this in, I guess I could technically live. Or no, no, the Trample, nah, because of the Trample I wouldn't. Okay, yeah, they had a, they had a fast start there. Let's try again. We'll, we'll leave it as we have it. So game three. Play first. Ugh, man, I think I might mulligan this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess uh, that and that. That's probably not going to go over very well. Um, if we draw a white mana source. I mean, it's a tap one, unfortunately. Um, let's put this down. If we can draw an untapped mana uh, white source here, we can do some stuff. No blocks. Yeah, that's going to be too little too late, I think. Uh -huh. First game was really good, and then we just kind of lost to our own mana base, I guess. But yeah, yeah. We won't give up, though. We just need them to not have literally everything, which it looks like they do. We're taking a lot of damage here. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, take it all. Okay. Uh, land. If I play this, I'll have two blockers. And I can probably survive. Let's try it. This would give us... We'd have three blockers, but... Yeah, see, now I have to block here and here. Yeah, too much. Too bad. I think that the mana got the better of us there, but I think game one was, was pretty good. Okay, well, that was Jeskai Tokens. Went fairly well, I thought. The, uh, the deck feels very powerful. Um, obviously, I guess the mana base and getting land, land issues, I think, are the biggest issue with the deck. Overplaying like a Boros Tokens deck is less consistency with mana. Perhaps there's a way that that can be uh, adjusted and I could fix the mana base to make it more reliable. Two of my rounds, people lost to this one game and didn't want to play again. So it could be a coincidence, but um, I don't know. Also, I also I wonder if with uh, No More Lies, I wonder if Make Disappear is just better in this deck. Like, yes, it exiles and it's it makes them pay three, but the ability to double up the Make Disappear in this deck, especially when I'm playing tokens, seems maybe worth it. And to have it only cost one blue mana instead of a blue and a white might be better as well, just to make it easier on the mana base. But yeah, I don't know. I think the deck was really good. Um, I think that the uh, Invasion of Segovia is still a very good card. I like the deck a lot, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the games. And I will see you in the next video.